The internal wrangling within the People's Democratic Party has been dragging for a while without practical solution in sight. The calls for the resignation of the national chairman of the party, Yocha Ayu, by the River State Governor used some weekends some members of the PDP, which includes Penwe State Governor Samuel Otom, has remained an issue. However, over the weekend, Senator Yocha Ayu broke his silence, threatening that he has the power to stop Otom from realizing his centurion vision on the platform of the party. But Ayu said, as a father of all, he has decided to remain silent to avoid a crack in the party. The relationship between Otom and Ayu Um will for both Benway and Northwest Senatorial District went sour after the party's presidential primary that produced Atiku Abubakar as the party's standard bearer. So join us now on the morning show as we discuss the continued issue within the PDP's Teva Kasi. Special advisor to Governor Samuel Otom. Welcome to the show, Teva. Teva, can Iyocha Ayu stop Otom's senatorial ambition? Well, I, I don't think the, uh, uh, the chairman, uh, national chairman of PDP uh, needed to say that because the constitution of the party and the electoral act do not permit that. Governor Tom is the candidate of the PDP in Benue Northwest Senatorial District. And um, perhaps, I was thinking the, uh, the chairman would come out and say he was misquoted. But if indeed he, uh, he meant what he said, then uh, uh, that's rather uh, unfortunate. But let me quickly add that Governor Samuel Otom has no personal problem uh, with the national chairman of our party, uh, Senator Dr. Yu. Uh, you will recall that uh, it was the governor of Benue State. Uh, governor Nyesomwike of River State has said this repeatedly on national television, including uh, your television, that it was Governor Otom who uh, met with the governors and persuaded that uh, the national chairman of the party should come from his state, that he we take responsibility. And uh, he convinced his colleagues and they agreed. And he brought uh, Senator Ayu and the, the, the governors accepted him. The party by extension accepted him. The North, it began with, with the Northern region, or the Northern caucus of the PDP. And eventually uh, Dr. Ayu emerged unopposed. And this was because Governor Samuel Otom um, initiated the idea and it went on to become a reality. So he uh, can't now turn around and begin to, to witch hunt uh, Dr. Ayu. This is what many Nigerians do not understand. Governor Samuel Otom is a man who loves justice. He's a man who stands for the truth. And that truth is what is also being said by the other governors who are saying that the right thing should be done. The five governors who are otherwise called the, the wicked camp, if you will. What they are saying is that the right thing has to be done. That the national leadership of the party has not been able to use their you know, conflict resolution mechanism to address the problems that have arisen since the National Convention of the Party uh, was concluded and the choice of the, the, uh, the running mate was made. Of course, you, you, are aware, you are familiar with the history, the recent history of what happened, uh, how uh, Governor Wike, despite the unanimous decision of the committee that was set up by the candidate of the party, the presidential candidate, uh, Wike was uh, later snubbed, but that is not even the issue. Wiki has said repeatedly that, and Governor Tom and the others have said, they are not insisting that Wiki, that Wiki sh should have been chosen. But here is an agreement that was made between the national chairman of our party and the stakeholders before he became the national chairman, that if a candidate of the party, the presidential candidate of the party emerged from the northern region, that he would resign. 
And that has come to pass. The presidential candidate of the party has emerged from the northern region. So he should be a man of honor. That is what the governors, the five governors are saying. And so this is not a personal thing uh, between Governor Otom and, uh, and, and, and Senator Yochayu. And so I just needed to put this record straight and um, so that okay, I can you know that it's not a personal thing. And TV. I, I yes. thought I heard you saying. Yes, uh, Dr. Abati. Yes, I thought I heard you saying that uh, Governor Tom has no problems with uh, Senator Yocha Ayu. Of course, he has a problem with him. Yes, I did. Uh, Senator Yocha Ayu has said that he has the powers to stop anybody or Tom and others from becoming uh, whatever they want to become, senator or whatever, where he doesn't have such powers. He has to abide by sections 32, 33, and 84 of the Electoral Act 2022. Section 84 specifically says, for you to withdraw or drop out of the race, you either have, have to resign or you have to die. The, the law does not mention suicide. Yes. Yeah. But clearly, there's a problem with uh, Senator Ayu making that statement. What uh, Governor Wiki said is that uh, Governor uh, Otom is a use guarantor. And incidentally, both of them come from the same senatorial district. Now, what are the implications, in your view, of all of this for Governor Tom's chances of seeking to become a senator from a, a Benue Northwest Senatorial District. Because both of them are very important well, figures I, I in don't that think that. I don't think, um, thank you very much, I don't think there is any problem um, or anything of that nature will affect the chances of of Samuel Otom becoming the senator representing Benue Northwest Senatorial District. Because um, this is beyond the personalities that are involved here. It is about quality representation that the people uh, are looking forward to. And Governor Samuel Otom has been given a clean bill of health, has been given uh, many times unanimously endorsed by the people. All the blocks uh, in the senatorial district have come to say he is the man they need to be at the Senate. And so it is beyond, it's even beyond him. If he wants to step out of the race now, you would see uh, mass uh, movement. People will come out to say, look, we want you to continue. We want you to, to, to go to the Senate to represent what you have been the voice of the people over the, over the years, since you became governor in 2015. So uh, it is just good and, and right that you proceed from here to, to the National Assembly to uh, continue to speak, not just for Benue people, but for the good people of this country. That is what the people are saying. So it is beyond ju what just one individual, uh, it's beyond Samuel Otom himself, uh, because the blocks that have spoken in the seven local government areas of Benue State, where the senatorial district is, 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 have said they prefer Governor Samuel Otom to represent the district at the National Assembly. Okay, let's doubt so, so I don't see, in other words, in other words, I don't see any, I don't see any implication at all. Okay, so let's dial back to the bigger problem. The need for your child to go. Governor Tom stated his own point of view as regards this. But it looks as though the article camp is not bulging anytime soon. So, what will be the future? A lot of people are saying the PDP has entered what they call in local parlance one chance. Because this matter has not been resolved, the governors are not aligning, and it's affecting the PDP campaign. That's one. Secondly, I want you to talk me through the back and forth that happened between Atiku Abaka and Governor Otom as regards killing of people in Benway State. Well, um, you see, the, the people have the final say. And just yesterday, when Governor Samuel Otom was inaugurating the, 
the campaign council of PDP at the state level, he made these points very clear that it is not too late for the PDP at the national level to correct things, move in the right direction, and make amends. And he proffered all the solutions that, one, arrogance is not supposed to be part of negotiation. Dialogue is what should be on the front burner of, of, of a, a party that is seeking to, to take power back to itself and rescue Nigeria from the, the, the misrule of the APC. That party needs internal unity more than anyone else. And Governor Otom has said that it is not too late. We still have some months. And if the candidate of the party the national chairman and other members of the uh, other leaders of the party at the national level decide now to get things right. Of course, the five governors who are, are raising concerns are men of integrity. They are men of goodwill. They, they have built the party over the years. Governor Tom was the secretary of the, of the PDP at the state level. He became the vice chairman of the, of the deputy chairman of the PDP and became the national auditor, became a minister. At a point, he was uh, controlling two, supervising two, two ministries. So he, this, this, this is a leader who has been, his political life in recent years has been the story of PDP. And the PDP has been part of him. So he, he cannot turn around now to destroy what he has built over the years. And I believe that his counterparts in the other five states, in the other four states, as, as, uh, are the same people, they, are, they have the same quality of nation builders or party builders. So if the PDP moves now to, to make a man, the national leadership of the party decides now to get it right, they, they will get it right. And, and we, our party, will now move to victory in 2023 as a united uh, uh, entity. That is what the governor, the five governors are saying. Uh, and regarding your, your question uh, on Atiku's, uh, uh, candidate Atiku's uh, uh, comments over the killings in Beji, Ukum local government area, we have already spoken about that. That is quite unfortunate. Uh, Alaji Atiku is a, is a former vice president. And it's, 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 he, he is seen to be a pan-Nigerian. He says it himself. So we expect him to be that nationalist, to be that, that patriot, to be that unifier that he says he is. So for him to make the comments that he made when people were killed in Benue State, we found those utterances very, very unacceptable, and we have spoken out. We have said, as someone who is aspiring to lead Nigeria, Atiku Abubakar should speak like an incoming president that he, he, he wants to be. He should look at the people in Beji. 50 persons were killed. 36 bodies were recovered. Others are still missing. And you have come to say that until and unless your people, he said, he used the word, our people, are integrated in those communities, and he was referring to Benue communities, that they, they, they and don't forget that Atiku Abubakar holds one of the biggest chieftaincy titles in Benue state, the Zege Muleu Tif, that is the shield of the Tif people, and by extension, Benue people. So for him to make those comments that until our people are integrated in those communities, their children are given permission to go to schools, access hospitals, that is the only time they will reciprocate that gesture. And we were wondering, reciprocate what? And who are these people? Who are these people? Are you now saying you, you will be a Fulani president if you are elected? This is the question that Benue people are asking. Because you are not yet there. And you are, you are addressing some people as your people, and other Nigerians are not, are, as not being your people. So that has sent some wrong signals to our people, and they are really, really afraid. And but, but we, the governor, governor Samuel Otoma said, Atiku still has an opportunity to apologize to Benue people over those comments, publicly apologize, even if he doesn't apologize to him as a person that he, he said he is profiling Fulanis. The governor is not profiling Fulanis. Governor Otoma has Fulani people in his government. 
and some of his friends that he has kept for years are Fulani people. This is not somebody who will now turn around to which hunt Fulanis. The only problem that Governor Tom has is with those Fulanis who come from outside this country, from Niger, from Chad, from uh, uh, Senegal, and wherever, Mali, to attack our people. And he has said this clearly, that it is not about Fulani, Antif, or Idoma, or Igede people, or other people in Benue State. It is about the, the resistance of the people against the agenda, the occupation agenda. Yeah. And if, of course, we, just yesterday we said that there, there is a group of people who have never denied responsibility of the attacks in Benue State, and they call themselves Mieti Allah. Yeah, right. So what we are, we are now wondering, if Alaji Atiku Abubakar has any connection with these people, because his statements actually have sent a very dangerous signal to our people. And that's why our people are resisting. You, you saw the other day, the Mindar block, which is one of the biggest political blocks in Benue State, came out to, I mean, they pulled, they withdrew their support uh, of, of Atiku Abubakar. And if, if he doesn't give that apology, I am afraid more blocks may come out to disown him, to distance themselves from him. And they are not doing that because Governor Tom has asked them to do. He has not. They know exactly what they want. Okay. It is about the survival of the people. It is about the, the, the land, Benue State, which is the heritage of the people. Okay. And if you are, you are saying that, uh, uh, yes, Dr. Abati. Okay. We're about to round up this uh, conversation. Yes, Dr. Abati. But I want to ask you, our expectation was that Governor Samuel or Tom himself will be on this program this morning to respond to Senator Yocha Ayu claiming that he has the powers to stop him. I've quoted the relevant uh, portions of the law, saying that the party chairman does not have such powers under, section, under Electoral Act uh, 2022. But could there, is there a reason why Samuel uh, Autumn, governor of Benue State himself, decided to avoid this conversation and to say you should come and represent him? <laughs> Is it that he doesn't want a direct confrontation with Senator Yocha Ayu, who comes from the same senatorial <laughs> constituency with him? Can you offer us a clarification in that regard? Because <laughs> I, I think the governor dodged. He just dodged. And he said, okay, TV, you go and face that. No, 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 no. Okay. No, no, Dr. Abati, you've got that wrong. Okay. Governor Samuel Otom has never run away from any... And any, any confrontation. He has spoken out and told Mr. President himself that he's wrong. You are wrong, Mr. President. You are wrong about Benue State. When you said our people should go and live, learn to live with their neighbors, I said you are wrong. And that the security has been wrong. That the, the federal government has got it wrong in terms of security. The governor has spoken out. So Governor Tom is not a man who will, will chicken out in a conversation. But the truth of the matter is, you have said it already, that the national chairman of the party does not have the power to remove or stop anyone who is already a candidate from contesting. So I didn't need to, 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 to belabor that issue. You have said it succinctly, and that, that's what the law says. So he, he, that's why I began by saying that he shouldn't have even, the, the national chairman of the party shouldn't have made that comment because it is invalid. He can't remove the, he can't stop okay. any candidate now. That, okay. that time has gone. And Governor Tom okay. is the one who brought him to be the national chairman. So it, it, it is unfortunate that he, he, has, he has been, I mean, he, first of all, he called them children. He called Governor Tom, okay, Governor okay. Wiki, and the others as children. That when they were sitting, sitting of the party, they were nowhere to be found. Okay. I, I don't think comments like that should come from someone who is leading a party to, 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 okay. to take okay, over okay, power okay, uh, in this country. That's Tava. really Tava. unfortunate and, and unacceptable. Tava, yeah. as, it, as it stands now, Wiki, Wiki is inconsolable. We've had this back and forth. It doesn't look like these five governors want peace. So why are they acting like, oh, peace is the objective? So we know where we stand. And that's why I was using that word the other time about one chance. It doesn't look like they're coming back. So why is, you know, Governor Tom and Wiki talking like that they want peace? Quickly. See, uh, uh, 
Rufai, the, the, the issue here is not about these five governors. It is about the survivor of the PDP. Remember what Governor Wicked did for the PDP when Alaja Atiku Abubakar, Senator Dr. Yochi Ayu, all left the PDP. Wike was there. The likes of Samuel Otom have built the PDP over the years. So they are, they, they, they are not, what they are saying is that the PDP leadership has got it wrong. They have got it wrong. And that the five governors are saying, Dr. Yochi Ayu should, should resign. He should be a man of honor. Keep to your words. You said if a national, pre if the candidate comes from the north, you will resign. So why not honor your words? Why not, what, why not be a man of integrity? Honorably okay. resign. Okay. Let the southern part of the country produce the PDP national chairman. This is okay. it's as simple as that. Okay. So it is not personal, but okay, the, the national leadership of the party has the responsibility to get it right. Okay, That's what the governors are saying. Thank, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for your time.